Welcome to my YouTube channel. Learn at ease. In this video I will discuss a topic in biochemistry. Biomolecules, Carbohydrates. Part 5. Homopolysaccharides. I will start this video by introducing polysaccharides. Polysaccharides consist of repeat units of monosaccharides or their derivatives which are held together by glycosidic bonds. Polysaccharides are also called glycans. Polysaccharides are classified in two different ways. Classification based on function and classification based on their composition. Now, I will show you classification based on function of polysaccharide. Where first type is structural polysaccharides their function is to provide mechanical stability to cells, organs, and organisms. Second type is Water binding polysaccharides, they are strongly hydrated and prevent cells and tissues from drying out. And third type is Reserve polysaccharides, and their function is to serve as carbohydrate stores that release monosaccharides as required, osmotically less active, and they can therefore be stored in large quantities within the cell. Now, I will describe classification based on composition of polysaccharide. Here, Polysaccharides are classified in two groups that are, homopolysaccharides and heteropolysaccharides. Where, homopolysaccharides are polysaccharide made of same monosaccharide repeating unit. And, heteropolysaccharides are polysaccharide made of more than one type of monosaccharide repeating unit. The image on the bottom left represents two types of homopolysaccharides, and they are branched homopolysaccharides and unbranched homopolysaccharides. In the image all the repeating units are represented using same color which suggests that all the repeating units are the same. The other image appearing on the bottom right represents two types of heteropolysaccharides, and they are branched heteropolysaccharides and unbranched heteropolysaccharides. In the image the repeating units are represented using different color which suggests that the polysaccharides is composed of more than one type of monosaccharide units. In this video I will explain some examples of homopolysaccharides. Now, I will explain some examples of homopolysaccharides, where the first homopolysaccharide is, starch. Starch is a homopolymer of glucose forming an alpha-glucosidic chain, called a glucosin or glucan. It is the most abundant dietary carbohydrate in cereals, potatoes, legumes, and other vegetables. The two main constituents are 1. Amylose, which constitutes 15 to 20 percent of starch, has a non-branching helical structure possessing alpha-1,4 linkages and 2. Amylopectin, which constitutes 80 to 85 percent of starch, consists of branched chains composed of 24 to 30 glucose residues united by alpha-1,4 linkages in the chains and by alpha-1,6 linkages at the branch points. Dextrins are intermediates in the hydrolysis of starch. Hydrolysis by alpha-1,4 amylases yields maltose and glucose. The image shows the unbranched polymer of amylose, where the glucose residues are linked to each other by alpha-1,4 linkages is shown. The following image represents the structure of amylopectin, where alpha-1,4 linkages and alpha-1,6 linkages is shown. The image shows that the branching in amylopectin occurs by the presence of alpha-1,6 linkages. The image on the bottom right shows another representation of alpha-1,6 linkages in amylopectin. Now I will represent another example of homopolysaccharide, glycogen. Glycogen is the main storage polysaccharide of animal cells. Like amylopectin, Glycogen is a polymer of alpha-1,4 linked subunits of glucose, with alpha-1,6 linked branches, but glycogen is more extensively branched, on average, branching occurs after every 8 to 12 residues, and more compact than starch, and it is more branched than starch. Glycogen is stored in the liver cells known as hepatocytes. Glycogen molecule has as many non-reducing ends as it has branches, but only one reducing end. Third example of homopolysaccharide that I will represent is cellulose. 
cellulose is the chief constituent of the framework of plants. It is insoluble and consists of beta D-glucopyranose units linked by beta-1,4 bonds to form long polymer consisting of 10,000 to 15,000 D-glucose units, straight chains strengthened by cross-linked hydrogen bonds. Cellulose cannot be digested by mammals because of the absence of an enzyme that hydrolyzes the beta linkage. The image shows the structure of cellulose which possess beta-1,4 bonds and alternate arrangement of glucose residues. Dextrin is the fourth example of homopolysaccharide that I will present. Dextrins are bacterial and yeast polysaccharides made up of alpha-1,6 linked poly-D glucose. All have alpha-1,3 branches, and some also have alpha-1,2 or alpha-1,4 branches. Dental plaque, formed by bacteria growing on the surface of teeth, is rich in dextrins. Now, I will show fifth type of homopolysaccharide is, chitin. Chitin is a structural polysaccharide in the exoskeleton of crustaceans and insects and also in mushrooms. It consists of N-acetyl D-glucosamine units joined by beta-1,4 glycosidic linkages. The only chemical difference from cellulose is the replacement of the hydroxyl group at C2 with an acetylated amino group. The image represents the structure of chitin, similar to cellulose, Chitin possess beta-1,4 bonds and alternate arrangement of N-acetyl D-glucosamine residues. Carefully see the image to understand the structure. Stay tuned for my next video on heteropolysaccharides, which are the polysaccharides made up of more than one type of monosaccharide repeating unit. In my upcoming video I will explain. Glycosaminoglycans and its subtypes. Glycoconjugates and its subtypes. And. I will briefly introduce you with lectins. References used to prepare this video are given here. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you for watching my video. This video is prepared by Dr. Dwaypayan Goswami.